Notorious B.O.Z. seen a notorious BOZ show before. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Where y'all been hiding? Oh, I know, you've all been going to see Susan Miller elsewhere, right? <laughs> okay. Well, uh, we're going to bring her out here shortly, but I just wanted to check in with y'all to let you know uh, a little bit about this show. Uh, Susan's going to come out, she's going to tell us some stories uh, from her life, and uh, we're going to use those stories as jumping off points to uh, for improvisation to uh, tell our own stories. So uh, sit back. Enjoy the evening. Uh, don't forget to grab a drink if you need one. And uh, what I'd like to bring out, uh, the star of tonight, many of you may already know her. Uh, she's the uh, angel to our demons. She's the Thelma <laughs> to our Louise. Susan Miller! <laughs> My husband says I actors cannot high five, and I think I just proved that point right now. <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name's Susan. Um, I know many, many of you. Thankfully, I can't see you right now, and that's great. Um, so I thought tonight that I'd tell some stories. I, I, I've done a lot of things in my life, but I started my career as a professional actor in Chicago, and I thought that I'd share some of those stories because they're just kind of wacky. Um, so. First off, so I, I graduate college, it's the late 90s, and my goal in the world is to be a professional actor, just a working actor. I didn't want to get rich, I just wanted to like make my living doing theater, and I scored an agent, and that was like, wow, like this is amazing, I got an agent now, and I finally get a call, and they're like, the job is, we're not going to tell you a lot about the job, but your, your job is to show up on Friday at the Sheridan Hotel, Wacker Drive, 9 a.m. bring two forms of ID and it pays a hundred bucks for the day which was at that time and now a lot of money for me so, <laughs> so I'm like oh right I got an industrial which is like an industrial is when you work for some corporation and usually makes more money than like some other kind of job but no one's ever gonna see it whatever great um, so I show up at the Sheridan Hotel Wacker Drive 9 a.m. Friday morning Ooh, I'm nervous and um, there's 99 others of me, and it's Best Buy, and it's a Best Buy convention, and the idea is that we are all going to be Best Buy tags, and it's the end of some big like sales pitch, and there's all these, you know, uh, marketing folks and salespeople and, and VPs and all the muckety mucks, and at the very end of the convention, they're going to have 100 of us Best Buy tags run into the back of the auditorium and like really just like get them all energized and sell, sell, sell Best Buy products. So, and I'm like, well, why are we here at 9 a.m. and you know, the job ends at five? Well, because there's choreography. Um, <laughs> so we all put on our big costumes and it's a big like, you know, mascot costume and it's a big box you can kind of see through the mesh here. And we've got white spandex arms and big yellow glove Mickey Mouse hands and big yellow Mickey Mouse feet. And the choreography goes, hey, you, I know you, I know you, do you know me? I'm Best Buy, raise the roof. <laughs> so, so we spend a lot of the time in the morning learning this choreography and we're all wrapped up. And then the, the people in charge say, Actually, there's a hundred more dollars in it for five very special tags. If you are, we're going to put five tags across the stage. The rest of you are going to be in the audience. And so we're all money hungry and, and there's a big audition and some people can kick really high and some people can do splits and some people can flip. I just have a lot of heart. So I just like go out there and my audition was just like... <laughs> And that's what it was, but um, I was not chosen as one of the five very special texts. And at the very end of the day, we went out there and we kind of crowded, and they, I don't think they measured for how many, like, 100 Best Buy tags with our 
big uh, berth would, would, would land in the audience and uh, we, we said, hey you, you know, I, they, they couldn't hear it, it's all our inner monologue, but I know you, I know you, do you know me? I am, I'm Best Buy, <laughs> raise the roof. And then all these very confused salespeople just sort of looked at us and we all kind of hung our heads and, and lined up to get our $100 check. And I went home and that was the end of the day and I probably ate a lot of cheese that night. Thank you. We can't wear the same thing. <laughs> this is what the... Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so embarrassing. It's our daughter's wedding. We can't wear the same thing. <sighs> How did... I don't even understand. Trevor, the... <sighs> Trevor, we have a lot of matching clothes and we try to coordinate. I'm not, I'm not upset, okay? Look, I only brought the one, like, everything else is just swim trunks and, um, like, you know, Hawaiian shirts. Yeah. And you don't think that's gonna, you don't think that would fly? No, I don't think that would fly. I only brought the one nice thing. I don't... Trevor, this is just really... Daddy, do you like the roses and the... Oh, no! No! Separate, it's okay, but together it just clashes. I know, but I see it. I can tell. Look, Trevor, just if, try the swim trunks. I think the swim trunks will be okay. I don't think it'll be obnoxious or egregious or anything. I think it's gonna be okay. We'll have to get them to check. Like we have, they have to approve. You, you mean you don't want to surprise them by just showing up to the wedding in swim trunks? Yeah. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Trevor, that I appreciate your forethought there. We need to see what it looks like, okay? All right. I'll turn around. I know. I know you're still weird about that. I won't watch. <laughs> hey, I was just wondering what Daddy's. Oh! 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 The adjoining rooms were a terrible idea. The adjoining, like they don't. There's no lock on it. I'm sorry. That's all I mean. I don't. I don't think I'm just gonna go ahead. There's this little slider lock. I'm gonna make sure that, that no one else can come in. No one else can come in through this door. Trevor, I think it looks fine. Oh, hey guys, they're ready for the photos downstairs. Oh my god! <laughs> Yeah, oh, 
I only get that much. <laughs> I feel I like one percent calmer. <laughs> are coming. Hello, hello. I want to buy electronics. Hello, hello. I want to return electronics. <laughs> I feel like I can help these people. Think how many of them there will be and how many you could help. I could help. Gypsy, and it was at a, a medium-sized theater in town, and it starred Alexandra Billings, who is this incredible, as far as I know, I think she's the only and first trans woman to play Mama Rose, and I got to be Gypsy Rose Lee, or Louise, um, is the character's name. And the, I don't know if you're not familiar with Gypsy, this is this sort of a ugly duckling story where she grows into a swan, and throughout the entire musical, so like two plus hours she's you know just like plain Jane and she's not talented and she doesn't have any anything to add and Mama Rose the the stage mother from hell is always trying to make Dainty June the big star Dainty June runs away and in a sad turn of events she forces Louise into a you know a strip club basically and she becomes Gypsy Rosalie and so it's a you know it's not a, a, a fancy fancy theater so we're all doing our own hair and makeup and I was like okay well I'll just like not wear makeup at all, like in, in as the Louise part, and then we, there's this major transformation before you become Gypsy, and so backstage there's like five minutes, and, and 
everyone helped me and we put on like fake eyelashes and blush and lipstick and sequins and all the things and all of a sudden you come out and you're like transformed and and you go on and the show went great it was fabulous um we uh, you know got great reviews and all that and a um, little embarrassing when my grandparents came and sat in the front row, but other than that, um, and, and you know, for like weeks, it was just on cloud nine, I'd go to the, the gay clubs and everybody knew me and it was like, I was Liza Minnelli, you know, back in the day, and it was wonderful, it was a wonderful time. And then I, uh, I, I go to, you know, the show closes, as all shows do, and I ended up uh, going to an audition, a big general's call at Chicago Shakespeare Theater, and I walked in and the casting director was like, Susan, I want you to know I saw you in Gypsy. And I was like, cool, because I thought like it went really well. And you know, I was like, this is a good start because normally they don't know you at all. There's so many people. And he's like, and I want to say something. And I hope you don't take it the wrong way. <laughs> Pausing in my brain. And then he said, the whole time I was watching the beginning, I thought, how are they going to make this girl pretty? <laughs> And then he said, but you were pretty. At the end, you were so pretty. I 
love drinking your lasagna. <laughs> So Mikey has been up on the seventh floor, and he came down, uh -huh. and all of these people, they just started, like, <laughs> harassing him, and causing him to do exercises, and <laughs> I, I don't even, it was so very strange and very, very uncomfortable. Is well, now this, that you mention it, sweetheart. Is this back, her, her god? Yeah. Back in the day, at the roller rink, Mikey had some problems, too. No. Remember? He would always put his skates on backwards and everyone would laugh at him. No. Say, stupid, stupid, Mikey! <laughs> I thought that they were saying, beautiful, beautiful, Mikey! He tried to kiss me one time by the cotton candy machine and I really? shunned him away. <laughs> you, 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 you're serious? You really don't like Mikey? You don't think he's the most amazing human you've ever seen? You don't think that his hair is, it glistens? No, he does have nice hair. <laughs> 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 That's me, You're my baby. You're my man. You're gonna make it up to the seventh floor. I'll make sure of that. Dana. I'll make sure of that. <laughs> Dana, help me. Dana, can you help me? When you come back up the ladder, bring some Dubai force. Is it okay if I bring a friend? You <laughs> said this wouldn't be a problem. It won't be. It won't be a problem. I'm sorry, what, Frank? Can I bring a friend? A, a friend? You just another worker? Yeah, bring him up if he's no. Got... He's not gonna work. Is this gonna be? A, is it? Is it gonna be an issue? Because I don't want to cause a scene in your job. No, no, it's not going to be an issue. Frank, what's up? Leo, I'm just gonna bring a friend. <laughs> Rick, we're, we're trying to put up a post office here. What? What's the deal? Yeah, we're gonna put up a post office, and we're gonna chill with my friend, and we're gonna drink some margaritas. Is that okay? <laughs> no, that's not okay, Frank. We're on a roof. Also, I didn't bring a two by four. <laughs> okay. Is well, that okay? Back down the ladder. You and your friend bring some two by fours up, and let's get going. Well, maybe I go up the ladder with my friend, and then we drink some margaritas. I'm afraid of the ladder. I don't want to go back down the ladder. What the hell happened? To you go to the porta potty, and all of a sudden you're this transfigured person. What the hell happened in there? Just not a friend. <laughs> all right, that was a rhetorical question. You found a friend in the porta potty? You're not in the porta potty. Well, Jesus, Frank. Get your shit together. Get some two by fours up here. Let's get this roof up. He sounds angry. I think we need to take him seriously. I don't want you to lose your job. Hey, I'm not gonna lose my job. Leo's, Leo's a softie. Okay. <laughs> hey, Frank, you're fired. <laughs> He's lying. <laughs> you ready for a massage? Oh. Is this gonna be a problem? Is it gonna be a problem that I'm here? Just, just... We're just gonna we're gonna have a massage with a friend, and we're gonna drink some macarita. <laughs> table... Is that gonna be a problem? <laughs> the table is. I don't. I don't want you to miss out on this massage. It's Can you gonna be fine. Really it's gonna be fine. Hey, hey, Greg. <laughs> yeah, you're a softy. You're gonna let us do this. <laughs> We can try. Let's try. Let's try the pitch that he said, just to see if it works no, out. No, no, no. It's I'm to. I'm... Oh, I got a friend. Thank God. You're here for Dad's funeral. <laughs> Who's this? I'm just gonna bring a friend. <laughs> Yes, I can be a Good. Good, Merrill Lynch. Good. This is my cat, Merrill Lynch. I like finance. You will have to please both him and I if you wish to dance in Meow. the Windy City. Yes. I, I'm ready for this. Before I, before, before you do this, yes. let me ask you a question. Is it you who has done your own makeup this evening? <laughs> Yes, have you done it? Because Meryl said to me when he saw you walk in, he said, that one, there's no way it will work. But then you come in here now, and it's, it's possible. It's very pretty. It's very nice. It's very nice. Purr, purr, purr. Yeah. I, 
I have to throw out some fake lashes in my car. And, uh, oh, it's a fake lash. A little a glitter. A little glitter. It's good. Do you think maybe you could, if, if there happened to be uh, an unorthodox German friendship, um, that you could maybe glamorize that as well? <laughs> Ask you for a friend. Oh. <laughs> well, I, I'm willing to do anything here in Chicago if it will put my name in lights and like. Stop. I, I, I'm sorry, your cat is making me very. No, so get, don't worry about Meryl. Wow. It's, it's very soft, actually, once you're. Here, feed him some, feed him some uh, herring. I have some herring. Just give me some herring. I'm more of a dog person. Just yeah. take a bit of herring out of this wet jar, feed it to the Meryl. I like to eat the herring. Wow. You're very. Should I dance over? Yes, sure, if you'd like to see. That's beautiful. It's your beautiful. Nice. Yes. Hmm, he likes it. <laughs> I like it. Wow. Uh, I saw my life flashing before my eyes in that moment, but dear God, I. You've got it. You've got the job. You've killed it. I think she's the one. Yes. Yes. Brown. I'm gonna put you up on the stage, darling. What? No. Yes. Are you for real? Yes. It's a fifty-person theme. No. 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 Yes. 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 Don't touch the drywall. Myself with questions as such. <laughs> Good. It seems to me to be asking the question of self seems to betray the very concept of the self. Share this matcha. What a one cup. I only have the one. Matcha seems a little. That, that's a little adventurous for me. I stick mostly to like lattes. You had it, 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 like they call it a macchiato, but really it's not a macchiato. It's, I like, it's like a caramel latte. Really yeah, I'm going to stab you if you don't drink the matcha. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's real bitter. I can see through time. <laughs> I didn't get that. What? That was the same matcha. It's because he's so good at spackling. <laughs> It's like the tiny little particles in it, I think, are going to upset my stomach lining. <laughs> Did you take two? Las Vegas. My my husband at the time was doing Teach for America, and it was a two-year commitment, and I'm like, well, better find a job. And uh, I ended up as a singing gondolier at the Venetian Hotel. It was actually really fun. But uh, some things to know about being a singing gondolier is um, the guy who owns the Venetian is named Sheldon Adelson, and he lives there. And word on the street of the, you know, it was like, 
the hundred Best Buy tags, we all of a sudden we're gondoliers, there's so many of us, but um, we're not. embarrassing but it was kind of fun and um so so I, I held up I'm, I'm a rule follower and I and I held that up and every day I, I was Nina you know you had to I, they gave out the name tags and Nina was there so I was Nina from Napoli and and uh had this couple come on my boat one day and I grew up in Springfield Illinois and um and they were like yeah land of Lincoln um and they were like uh you know every day I'm like Hi, uh, where are you from? Uh, I have a terrible Italian accent, but I was like, hey, uh, I'm a Nina. It was nice to meet you. Where are you from? And they said, oh, Springfield, Illinois. And I was like, my husband, he from Springfield, Illinois. And I'm like trying to get more information out of them. And they're like, no way. And they look kind of my age. And, and they're like, well, where do you go to high school? And I'm like, oh, and they named my high school. And they're like, well, we didn't go to that high school, but but we have lots of friends that went there. And I'm like, no, like my husband, he knows lots of people from that high school. What year did he graduate? And they're like, 1994. And I'm like, no way, that's, a, that's the year my husband graduated from high school. And so finally, they named one name that I knew, and they're like, did he know Clay Snyder? And I was like, Yes, he did know Clay Snyder. They both did a carousel, the musical together, and he was Mr. Snow. And I'm like, I'm like, well, how's Clay doing? I mean, my husband, I'm sure he's wondering, like, what is uh, Clay doing? And they're like, this is so crazy. This is so crazy that your husband knows Clay Snyder. And I'm like, I know, it's so crazy. And so the outside ride at the Venetian is, is all outdoors, and but there's this one tunnel where no one can see you. And it's just like a, a one minute, you know, stop. And, and so we're talking, we're talking, and I cannot keep up the illusion anymore because it's just so crazy that I finally, like, after all these people coming on my boat, total strangers, like British people, everyone's from New York, uh, finally, someone from Springfield, Illinois, we get under the tunnel and I finally go, Listen, it's not my husband, it's me. My name is Susan. I'm going to say, like, he knows me as Susan Miller, and we both took care of ourselves together, and it was Clay Snyder, okay? And we're, like, going through the tunnel, and I'm like, okay, but you cannot say, because I'll get fired if we find out. And then we, like, come out of the tunnel. I'm like, and now I sing your soul at me, yo. And this poor couple, they're like... <laughs> like, what just happened? And after the ride... And of course, I'm keeping up the illusion and everything. And we get to the, the dock and they pull us in. And we're like, and now is the time for a photo. And we do the photo. <laughs> and then they walked away and they were just no tip. And, and, and I'm like, well, they're going to find out because they're going to show that to Clay Snyder and he's going to know who I am. <laughs> No one can see us in here. Listen, come on, Listen. honey, please. You know what Dr. Frederick said. You're too much pressure. I can't perform with too much pressure. Okay? <laughs> honey, please, please, no one can see us. We came on this trip for an adventure, and this is an adventure. Come on, please. Okay, but I'll only do it for 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Well, only 30 please. seconds, okay? Okay. All right, put your head right here. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's a morning. This morning's under the floorboards. When you do that, it do last like pasta puzzle, that's a morning. They don't pay us minimum wage. <laughs> oh! This guy just touched me. This guy touched me. Whoa! I don't know you. I don't know you. Honey, please. Please don't do this to me. If you behave, we can sit next to each other. Yeah, you tell them that's how we do it on the seventh floor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Toy of games. That's right. Oh, thanks, Thomas. Wait, is Mikey in here? Mikey. Oh, look at Mikey. Mikey. I didn't know that was Mikey. Mikey. Can I say something nice about me, please? You fucking suck! Say something nice about me. Hey, hey guys, guys, give me, a, give me a minute. This guy doesn't get it. It's okay. It gives 
Mikey tried to kiss me one time. Ha, <laughs> oh, yeah. Whoa, well, look, it's the it. dark part. We must have gone in a circle. This lazy river is a whole donut thing. We're gonna, we're, we're coming right back around. Don't touch me, man. Okay, we'll see you when you. Oh, oh, it's dark. Okay, come, come here, come here, come here. Troy, please. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's the way. They beat us every day. Uh oh. Wait, Dad, you forgot your mink coat! <laughs> well, 
Well, now we're really moving into a different type of theater. You know, stripper, <laughs> prostitute, business analyst, whatever you need. You know, I got the juice, baby! And then I do my, my cup, and then I go like this. And then this one, and then I kick that one, and then I kick it. And then it's a coke solo. <laughs> Come back to me, Sweetheart, I'm not sure it's coke. The dance is not your thing. <laughs> no, but we're gonna try spackle. Okay? And maybe we'll find it in spackle. Okay? Can I still wear my coat? Yeah, leave the coat on. Okay. <laughs> that sounds just fine. <laughs> Look, everybody needs spackle. Because everybody needs walls. <laughs> See, right? I know, right? Everybody needs walls. Everybody needs walls. I had no idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's a bottomless market. It'll never it'll never fail. It's too big to fail. Walls. <laughs> well, I'm ready, but I, I I'm I'm all thumbs with a spackler. I I don't even know what, what that is really. Doesn't matter. These are spatulas. Okay. <laughs> Natural. You look good. It, it feels great. It feels nice in my hand. Yeah, the light's kind of like reflecting yeah. off of like a disco ball. Yeah, that's yeah. Cool. yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Cody, do you like them? Cody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you heard you got your big break. Yeah. 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 You're finally getting out of this closet, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty cool. I mean, I've always kind of looked up to you. That, yeah, that I'm not collar. doing it. I'm not doing anything for you. So, come on. I'm not. I. I mean, I think you're fine. I. I, I don't. I'm not gonna help you. Not you here all these years. We've. We've. We've been through mothballs. Yeah, it's, it's and... true. It's true. We've been around for a long time. I'm not gonna help you. Yeah. Are you just gonna leave me in here because I'm a jacket? It's. It's. Well, no. It's. I just don't want to help you. It's uh, more of a me thing. I thought we were in this together. Okay! Coats! It's time! Coat number one, show me what you got. <laughs> I'm wearing a jacket. I'm wearing a light fair on a, on a, on a slightly windy day in Chicago. Thank you, Cody. I was under the impression that I already had it. Cody, you know how this works. Yesterday's job is yesterday's job. Today's a new one. Show me what you got. We were already friends. Show me what you got. We were already doing all the dances. Anybody need a turtleneck sweater? Oh my god. No, no. Oh my god. I can I can do this. Can you please just I no Can you please just step away? Give me a chance! Give me a chance! Give me a chance! See this? You gotta watch the sheet, Rock. That's right. You wanna look like Steve Jobs? Throw me on. We'll go places. That's right. Yeah. We just saw right in there. Looks dumb. Look at that. Oh, yeah. You've got better posture even with that. I feel so powerful. Go ahead, try to walk. Try to walk. Look at that. Nobody's going to turn me on. That's right. I've got hips. Oh. Oh. Don't worry, Mink Coat. You'll always still have me, the belt. <laughs> I'll be here for slick and thin. <laughs> Always by your side, brother. You don't need to do that. That's right. Close up the closet. <laughs> hey, do you want to do 20 questions? No! <laughs> this year, the new iPhone is something special. It's different than all of the other years. I love it. Yeah. We all love this iPhone. Yeah. From the mouth itself, from the mouth of the man that looks like the man that developed it. <laughs> the iPhone. Technology for people. And cats. And cats. Meow. Meow. That's right.
lasagna drinking baby. <laughs> Take off the chocolate. What? Yes. What? It's what the? We don't need all of this. You do. You do need it. You need us. We're you creep, need us. We're creepy cats. Yes, you need us. <laughs> Honey, just a moment. You will not have another chance. <laughs> I'm ready to go. <laughs> Like a big 